This is another installment of Flat Earth Falsities. In this continuing series, I will debunk various erroneous and fallacious claims made by Flat Earthers. One question I get a lot when showing any pictures of the Earth or Moon from space is, why are there no stars in these pictures? And invariably, they claim that the absence of stars proves the images are fake. It's amazing to me, because this question has really been asked and answered for decades, dating all the way back to when conspiracy theorists first claimed the moon landing was a hoax. Of course, there is a perfectly sound, rational, demonstrable scientific answer to this question that has been explained to these people for all those decades. And yet, many Flat Earthers today somehow still think it is a legitimate gotcha question. No, it's not. It's ignorant bunk, and I can easily prove it. The answer is perfectly clear to anyone familiar with advanced photography. Stars appear as tiny dim lights to our eyes because they are so tremendously far away. Our eyes are pretty good at adjusting to see them, but cameras are not, without special techniques. These days, most people have a camera with them at all times in their smartphone but the vast majority of them have never captured a picture with visible stars in it because it's not easy to do. Think about it. Have you ever taken a photo at night in which the stars were clearly visible? In order to capture stars in a photograph, you need a long exposure time of a few seconds for the dim light to be captured. But if you do that, and there's anything else in the frame, particularly anything that is brightly lit, then those other things will become overexposed washed out, and blurred. So let me demonstrate exactly what I mean. I took a series of photos of the moon with a good quality DSLR camera, and I varied nothing but the exposure time between shots. Starting with an exposure time of one one thousandth of a second, I got this very clear view of the moon, but no stars. As I gradually increase the exposure time, you see the first star barely appearing at about half a second. But as you can see, the moon is already getting overexposed. The more I increase the exposure time, the more you can see the stars. But look what happens to the moon. It gets more and more washed out. With an exposure time of 10 seconds, you can see the stars beautifully but they start to streak across the sky a little bit due to the Earth's rotation, and the moon is just a bright smudge. Every picture you have ever seen of the brightly lit Earth or moon from space was taken with a fast shutter speed, which easily explains why you don't see the stars. Either you get the stars in the photo, or you get a clear picture of the bright object. You simply cannot get both in a single shot. Here is another photo I took of the stars in southern Utah, away from big city lights. In this four minute exposure, you can see the stars make little curved streaks as they circle Polaris. The mountains below appear to be lit up, but in fact they were black as night to the naked eye. The long exposure allowed the tiny bit of ambient light bouncing off the mountains to accumulate in the camera. Similarly, there are photos of the Earth from orbit that show stars like this time-lapse taken by ESA astronaut Tim Peake. You can tell this was done with a series of long exposure photographs on the night side of the Earth. This explains why the lights on the Earth look extra bright, and the atmosphere appears to glow. It does not look like this to the naked eye, which is why so many Flat Earthers cried fake when I showed this in another video. They just don't understand how photography works. Just because it looks different from what you expect, or different from what you normally see, does not mean it is completely fake. This is enhanced, not faked. I even replicated this effect somewhat myself with this 10 second shot I took at night of some houses on a ridge. The lights of the houses glow and the ridge appears dimly lit, but it was too dark to see the ridge with the naked eye at all. So you can see that the absence of stars in space photographs does not prove the photos are fake. Another desperate attempt to invalidate all space photographs fails miserably. By their logic, all these nighttime cityscape photos must be fake too. You don't see stars in any of these photos either. 
I have yet to find a flat earther who can provide a single valid objective criteria for determining a space photo is fake. They just assert they are all fake and then evoke various invalid reasons like the no stars claim or the oblate pair earth claim or various others. They even go so far as to make their own fake photos such as this one. The earth was not in the original image. They added it so they can show the Photoshop artifacts and claim all space images are faked like this one. But this is a fake fake. This is the most ostentatious straw man argument I have ever seen. It shows you how desperate flat earthers can be to deny the evidence that goes against their belief. Not seeing the stars in space in photographs is just another flat earth falsity. And there are so many more to debunk, so stay tuned and thanks for watching. Be sure to see my other series, Proving the Earth is Not Flat, in which I explain all the evidence you can see for yourself that proves the spherical shape of the Earth. And also, please like, subscribe, comment, and share.